guys welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel you're very welcome my name is Anissa Fon and if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe hit the notification bell so you always get notified each and every week I upload new tutorials to my channel if you're all member you guys are welcome back thank you for coming back to my channel today I'm going to show you guys on how to make this summer beautiful dress ruched in front and with a circle skirt so if you want to know how I do this keep on watching we're going to be needing we're going to be needing the basic pattern i have a tutorial on my channel on how to make a basic pattern maybe if you don't know how to do so uh later i'm going to put that's the chest line the under the nipple point line and the under boss line the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the soldier measurement measure whatever we have from there and divide it by two I will just put a dot there come to the waistline we're going to put the nipple to nipple measurement some people call it boss pan and mine is three and a half I put a dot there I will go ahead and connect that dot to my nipple point line like so I want to connect from here to here as well Which we've done connecting that line we need to mark one inch to the left and one inch to the right connect those dots to your uh, nipple point line just as you can see me doing like this now we're going to come to the waistline we're going to mark half inch to the left and half inch to the right connect it to your nipple point line just like so now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to come to our dark and mark half inch outward even though we're not going to be needing that half inch we're not going to be using it one inch upward Come to your arm hold deep mark half inch downward connect it from here to here we are still going to mark the half inch here and one inch upward remember I said we're not going to be using that half inch it's not useless just connect it take your French calf connect those points together like this To the half to the one inch of which we marked before and we're simply going to connect this point to our chest line like so the next thing we are going to do is we're going to be cutting the waist band After cutting the waistband, we're going to fold in that dark inward and close that dark just like so. And you can use your paper tape or whatever you have to hold it. And now we need to fold the dark that's the soldier dark to give the shape of the top but uh, you're going to just recheck if everything is perfect as you can see it's shorter by one inch so we'll be adding the one inch when we're cutting it to our fabric fold in this dark put it inward that's to recheck if the the top shape is uh, okay if it is okay you leave it like that if it is not okay you just go ahead and reconnect it and we're going to open this dark for for it to be easy for us to manipulate this paper 
as you can see mine wasn't perfect so i just went ahead and reconnect it after connecting it i'm cutting it up okay so we need to duplicate this uh pattern that's to uh trace the pattern because we're going to be slashing and spraying it you don't want to use this uh the the main pattern to do this because you'll be needing it to make to create the lining of the top after uh tracing it out you're going to go ahead and just uh, cut everything up When we are done cutting it up the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just draw some one two six line inside and uh, spray this is the slash we we'll call it slash and spray method so just cut it after cutting it i will number it so i will know which one goes first which one goes second and which one goes the, the last get another paper place it on top while leaving a distance of one inch or you can leave more if you want more gather so i'm just leaving a distance about one inch or one and a half inch so when i'm getting closer to the armhole look at the way i'm placing it because i don't want too much gathers at the armhole session after which we've done doing so the next thing we're going to do is simply we're going to trace it out trace it out and cut it just as we did for the other at first so after which we've uh, connected you're going to add one inch of allowance here that's to the armhole because we've been needing it to join the two sides them together that's how you're going to go ahead and cut it up So for the back uh, pattern, what you're going to do is you're going to come to this armhole, go down by half inch. Remember we did the same to the front and just connect it with a straight line. After connecting it, you're going to go ahead and cut it up. I'm simply separating the waistband for the back piece separate the two sides in and this is how it's going to go like this as you can see right we're going to move that aside this is the fabric I'm going to be using It's a cotton fabric you can use any fabric of your choice so since that my fabric is a bit small, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to draw a straight line, cut one long piece for the front and fold it into two. Remember the front is supposed to be cut on fold, just like so. Pin it up, cut it, and later on, I'm going to do the same thing to the waistband while adding one inch of allowance. We'll be needing one full waistband for the front and two for the back since it's going to be having a zipper. Cut the two sides of the dress as well, adding one inch of allowance. We'll need one for the right and one for the left, all right? And now for me to cut my lining, I'll first of all go ahead and cut my skirt because since I said my fabric is a little bit small, so I'm afraid that maybe if I cut the 
lining i won't have enough speed for the circle skirt so first thing you're going to do is by folding your fabric into two after folding it into two you will fold it again like i've done here so you can see you fold it again like this and you're going to take your waist measurement divided by 6.28 Whatever you have, you just go ahead and mark it up. Why adding half inch of allowance? Put the the length of the skirt. Mine is 19 inch, but if I had enough piece, that's enough fabric I will add. Increase the length. Connecting those marks together. I'm just rechecking it if everything's good before I go ahead and cut it up. Now, when you're done cutting it, we're going to separate the skirt because we'll be adding a zipper to it. So here are the piece. This is the front. This is the lining. Here are the two sides uh, of the dress and the straps, the skirt as well, and the waistband. First of all, we're going to uh, uh, start on the the front piece stitch with the longest stitch of your machine do the same thing here here and here remember I said with the longest stitch of your machine so you'll be able to pull it and gather it so just grab the thread while pulling it gently not to cut your thread pull it gently like this to you get to your half of your bust measurement so I'm going to continue pulling it till I get to my half of my bust measurement which is this so you can see this is what it is look after pulling it and now this is the lining so i'm just rechecking it if everything is perfect as you can see it's longer because the lining we had a dark here we're simply going to fold it in like this and stitch on top run it straight to the down from the downer to the top so i just went ahead and press it up so you can see to make it look uh, neat so I just recheck if everything is okay so you can see we had the two ducks for the lining and now we're going to take the the straps for the top because I do not have uh, enough piece so I had to cut four straps you, are, you want to cut the strap very long eh? you're going to make it a little bit long after doing so you're going to fold it into two and stitch so now after we have done so you're simply going to take a safety pin put it like this and you're going to put it inside while pulling it these are the straps I went ahead and separated it into four that's divide it into four and now we are going to Take one of the straps, put it right here, take our lining piece, place it on top. So you can see where the dark is. Do the same thing with the other side. Now you go ahead and pin it up so by the time you're stitching, it won't move. So, as you can see, you're going to stitch like so, like so, okay? Only the top part of the dress.
after which we don't session it we're going to flip it out but first of all go ahead and trim all the excess hungry just flip it like so and you press it to leave to make it straight after we have done so, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be adding our waistband just like so at the downer part. So I'm just rechecking if it is my waist measurement. Okay. That's you put the right side of the piece facing each other. Make sure the designs of your fabric are actually matching. As you can see, the waistband is a little bit uh, different from it, but it's not a big deal since it's the lining piece is not a big deal. Why? So you're going to take it to the machine and stitch it like so. I'm going to trim that here. Move it up, press it up. And now if you want, you can just go ahead and top stitch there. This is the the two sides in. I'm going to join it to the waistband, alright? Like so. You can see? Stitch it up. I've just gone ahead and stitch it. So you can see this is what we have. And now we're going to place it the right side, making sure the designs are actually matching it. So as you can see, I just fold it. Oh my God, okay. So you're simply going to pin the waistband. As you can see, what I was explaining is that I went ahead to fold half inch, this top part here, in order and I press it up. That's to, just to keep it for everything to match uh, with the waistband for it not to be longer than the uh, front of the dress. Pin it up. Here and we'll also be using that to cover our zipper, like so. I will want to take it to the machine and just uh, stitch. I just went ahead and stitch it, all right. Press it up to make it look nice and neat. And now, one thing we're going to be doing is we're going to attach the waist that the skirt to the top. Uh, notch the center of your top and notch the center of your skirt. Put the center together and you take this other two sides to mash it up and you can go ahead and pin the rest of the piece together. After pinning it, we're going to take it to the machine and just stitch it. Stitch it up when we get to the end. If you have a zigzag, if you don't have an overlock machine, you're going to zigzag it but i have a overlock machine uh, overlock machine i'm going to overlock it right so as you can see i went ahead and overlock it snit and now the next thing we're going to do is if you want you can go ahead and top stitch it but i'm going to leave it like that because it looks more professional you need to join the waistband make sure the two uh Stitch is that the two seams are matching the lines are matching each other you pin it up To hold it after pinning it up. We're simply going to take our zipper place it on top From the top of the dress Get to the desire where our zipper end we went to mark it up You can put a pin there to mark it up or you could mark it up with your chalk you're going to stitch from that where you mark it up downward when you're done stitching it you're going to press that uh, press it open you can see started from here 
I'm going to press it open. As you can see, I already went ahead and press it open. And I'll be using invisible zip for this, okay? So I have an even, uh, invisible uh, uh, fold as well. So I'm going to just simply place the right side of the zipper. Facing the right side of the dress, pin it up. I'm going to start this other side because I don't want the waist. That's the waistline uh, band to want to go up and the other one to go down. You know, sometimes it can be very frustrating. When I'm sure everything is in place, then we are going to go ahead and stitch it up stitch it from here to here you can see you're getting closer to your pin remove it please don't break your needle because i'm 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 fond of breaking needles when you get to the end you back stitch So now we're going to do the same thing with the other side of the zipper and we are almost done. Make sure you sew closer to the zipper teeth, okay? That's to when you sew it like that, when you actually zip it, they will not know is is uh is it's going to be hard to To differentiate if there's a zipper or there's not a zipper. Remember, this is an invisible zip. Take my time. When you get to the end, you backstitch. So I'm just rechecking as you can see here. And now, if you take a look closely, you will see that it's a little bit downward, but I'm not going to uh -huh, unstitch it because of this now. It's not uh, bad. It's just slice maybe about uh, not even up to one quarter downward. So I'm not going to unstitch this. Zip your zipper. And now, one thing you're going to do at this top part is you're going to fold in like this. You backstitch here. That's to hide the zipper, like so. Make sure the zipper come at the side. You stitch on stitch here. And after stitching it, you're going to flip it up. Do the same thing with the other side, okay? The camera is not picking, but it's what I, I, I did uh, mention before. So this is what I did, as you can see. That's to stitch there and flip it out. And now we're going to top stitch here. Top stitch, that's the small lining of the back piece. If I had enough uh, fabric, I would just have created a one full big lining with the for the back but since i do i don't have a uh, enough piece that is what i did here okay and now we're going to be adding the straps for the back what i'm doing is i'm just putting this strip to be the guide of the other one so you're going to be straight put it like so okay make sure everything is straight i'm going to put a pin up stitch it from here and here do the same thing here and you're going to hem the down up part of the dresser for one in half in and half in and we are done with the project this is what it look like even though the tutorial is uh, a little bit longer i don't know how people normally 
I do tutorial very short. I've been trying so much to do it very shorter, but it seems it's very longer. Anyway, here is the final look of the dress. I really love it, and I hope you guys do. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more DIY. Thank you so much for watching, and see you on my next project.